No. You know, yesterday I, uh, I didn't pick up on a signal. I pushed it a little too far and uh, we kind of got into it. You know, for me, it doesn't feel right. So, you know, I'm trying to get back on Chuck's good side. Being able to get out there and catch some fish, I, you know, I'm hoping that it kind of redeems stuff. So Jeremiah's coming tonight and, uh, you know, we got to have some kind of tacos and I feel I let everybody down last time, so redemption time, man, redemption. Redemption. Oh, God. You know, that 10 foot rule is so real. I mean, he wasn't there. I put my bait fish out. I pick up my Native American flute. I don't even have three notes out and I'm hooked up. And I mean, it was that fast. I mean, literally less than three minutes and I had a fish in the boat. Run down, get you some. Tell you what, we're gonna have some tacos tonight. <laughs> See what happens when you don't bring Chuck Testa? You might catch something. Oh, that's a big one. Run, done, get you some. Tacos. It's just another day in the life, tell you what. Ah, yeah, yeah. Look at this is a good fish right here. Run, done, get you some, son. This is at least four tacos, so this is five and six, but we won't name them by numbers. Five fish in less than an hour. Come on. Woo! You know what? I got the job done today and I'm really stoked because I get to finally prove to Chuck that I, I can get out there and fish. I'm not a drummer, but I caught a lot of fish. I wanna make just one wish. I wish Chuck would forgive me for being an asshole and pissing him off today. Wait, no, that was yesterday. Good Lord. Will I ever get rest? Chuck called me last night and was like, hey, you know, we're trying to go get some more fish, we're trying to get some meat, but uh, as of right now, we don't have any. You know, today I get to show up and prove to Chuck I caught some fish. You know, it's gonna be great meeting Jeremiah with something for him to cook. So hey Chuck. Yo, hey, yeah. Still believe me that I don't catch fish? I think you're a liar. <laughs> Actually. Well, let me let me let me put my money where my mouth is. Okay. You know, it doesn't matter if I bring those fish right out of the water, right in front of him. I don't think he's gonna believe me now, especially when I go to the lake by myself again and come back with five fish, he's not gonna believe I caught him. Bottom line. I have proof it's not just somebody taking a After picture. After my adventure with you, I, I just don't believe you. To our surprise. He had seven packages of fish that said $9.98 a pound from Vaughn's. I'd say you need a fish. Did you see a grocery receipt? No, not really. He had like six bass he caught. So maybe it was me, I don't know. I had that thing less than five minutes with my line in the water, bro. But I literally picked up my flute, because he always talks crap about my flute. Two yeah, notes out of my flute, and that fish just lit it up. For real. But yeah. Well. That looks like lunch to me. Well, does it? It looks like lunch. But those bass were, I mean, I'm, I, I don't tell fish stories. They were like this big. But uh, yeah, so we, we were pretty excited when he actually had that fish, so. Well, what was the point of all this? I forget. So we got lunch. To prove that I got lunch. You know, Chuck just thinks I'm full of The reality is, is he has no clue the depth of effort and work and, and loyalty I put into getting his acceptance and his respect. And after almost five years, I'm still searching for it. <laughs> I've never gotten yellowtail, bro. Okay, so then I, I just get to eat it, right? I get the right. easy part, all right, that's fine. 
I'll stay here and mount deer heads and you guys go do what you do. Now, I'm not familiar with how you prep your fish for cooking. Uh, I usually fillet them, so I'd like to learn how you do it, actually. Jeff's a huge fisherman. He tells me he fishes and duck hunts all the time, but he only ever fillets out the fish. He's never gutted a fish. Jeff is double my age and has never gutted a fish. I like, blew my mind. First, yes, just gut it. So you normal gut, start start the pee hole, go all the way up to the top is how I usually do it. Yes, sir. So we'll cook these suckers whole on, on the grill tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so the master fisherman of all time, the bass master, has never gutted a fish? You said to the, to the fence? All the way to the top. Gotcha. All the way to the end. It's, I, oh my God. You get all that, that, that blood trail in there and all that good stuff. So you got your swim bladder, you got your blood trail in there. Probably go a little bit deeper right here. Yeah. Split that open. We'll rinse that out, we'll clean it all out. Oh, you hey, know what, I don't, I don't think she ate it. I think some are actually hatching inside of her. That's exactly what's happening. Are you serious? Yeah, she has a second row of eggs here. What does Chuck always say? What's the challenge? Automatic challenge. Automatic challenge. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Automatic challenge. There's no way I'm not gonna accept that challenge. They're not bad. A little, little coppery from the blood, but. Yeah, blood don't scare me. That's not bad. Chuck! <laughs> hey, Chuck, automatic challenge. Better be worth it. I was in the middle of something. What is it? Suck down these row eggs. Let me see you do it. Oh, he just did. What do you do? Just suck it out. <laughs> I can't suck as good as Jeff. I'm sorry, it's up you just to you. It. I ain't never nibbled it. I ain't never been that hungry personally. He doesn't even really know a true automatic challenge anyway. This is all just rookie stuff. So we're gonna have uh, some of the bass, fresh bass that Jeff just caught this morning, or bought, depending on who you believe. For dinner, uh, we decided that we would grill up a whole grill uh, these bass, and then we threw it right on the grill. Just some Cajun spices, some oil, and that's it. With homemade black bean and corn salsa, should be delicious tonight. So, uh, yeah. This is looking beautiful, Jeremiah. I'm glad I was able to supply some fish and redeem myself. This is beautiful, bro. It's overwhelming. Let's eat. Mm, more new tastes too, because right. more things I haven't tried. And let's, let's yeah, let's meal. let's. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dear Lord, thank you so much for today. Thank you for supplying everything we need and everything we want. Thank you for these fish that are less than a day old. Thank you for Chuck for gathering us all around, for, for being a friend, a father. Lord God, just bless his food and bless us in your name. Amen. 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 Thank Let's you eat. so much, Jeremiah. Grab it and go. It I feel like uh, we're on yeah. Top Chef or something. I know, and you're explaining your... Uh, you're on uh, Top <laughs> Redneck Chef. <show. laughs> Jeff, you really didn't catch these fish, right? I promise you. I caught seven. You know I what? I had to put two back. They were Chuck size. <laughs> In Chuck size. <laughs> you know, I caught the fish today. I got the job done. You actually really caught these fish. It's a big difference with Chuck and without Chuck. And Jeff came through at the last minute with the bass for the fish tacos and the dinner and uh, saved the day. As much as it pains me to say this, good job. Thank you. Thank you, I worked hard at it and it stressed me out beyond words when I took you both out there and we didn't get it done. Proving that that 10 foot rule makes <laughs> Murphy's Law look like a blessing. <laughs> you know, it's a family around here. As dysfunctional as we are, we function very well. Well, enjoy everybody. This is what, what life's about, you know. Early summer evening in Ojai, it's just beautiful here. That's why I love it so much. And when you actually have some time to gather around the table and uh, have a good time, a lot of laughs and some good food and just a real chance to uh, chill out a little bit and uh, have some quality time. Something that we're missing a lot of in this fast paced uh, instant world we live in. What a God and what a country. <laughs>